Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the No-Chill Challenge. We are off on the way to see the uh, the Wandering Trader. Just quickly, we've got our new recruit here. Grace, I think her name is. And I think she's our new recruit. She was standing the furthest back in the community screen. So I just automatically took that to mean that she is our newest recruit. In the last episode, we encountered our first feral, I do believe. That was our first feral of the uh, of the challenge. So we're going to say hello to the wandering trader quickly. And then we're going to take this is quite a load I'm carrying. our new friend over to attempt to attack a plague heart. All right. I think we're good here. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of looting while we're here. It's not really anything special. Why not? We've got lots of space in the car. Just remember, ladies and gentlemen, one bite means game. No room for that. Over for that character. All right, let's put some stuff in the car. That's not going to fit. I will take the uh, the pipe bomb there. That'll come in handy for what we are about to do. We picked up a light. Oh yeah, a light a light vehicle, which reminds me a light vehicle upgrade kit, which reminds me that we have not yet scanned the map to see if there is a survey car anywhere. Survey cars are extremely helpful. You know when you want to. Uh, well, when you want to scan the map, because all you have to do is you drive around. We're not going to be worrying about that first aid mission. So they're not scanned. Uh, interesting. So I thought that Green Zone displayed the cars. Maybe that's different now. Okay, so you can't scan the map anyway. You have to actually drive around to encounter the vehicles. So it's getting a little bit late. But, you know, it's not pitch black. So we'll take our new friend here, Grace. Which I think is her name. Let me just double check. Make sure it is Grace. So there's a car there. What's that? That's a Miragra, which is the same vehicle that we are driving now. I'm a little tiny sliver nervous that uh, I've only brought snacks with me, but, you know, I had the great idea that we only need snacks because it's green zone. But as you know, as you are well aware, well, the zombie spawns are through the roof, so... No, I think... Well, would you look at this? I think I just wandered into plague territory. Okay, so, funnily enough, we've got our survey car, and I don't think I really want that one bullet. It's for the gun we've got, though, isn't it? So I might as well keep it. No doubt we'll shoot this gun at least once at some point. Now, this thing, okay, it's got a pretty good inventory because, you know, we have been, um, That's a lot of stuff. you know, we've got the mod in, a mod that well it just makes cars generally better this thing doesn't have a ton of fuel but you know it's got enough fuel to get by for the time being so this is going to very very drastically help us explore the map just by driving it around it's going to reveal all of the uh, 
Well, really, what I'm thinking of for now is I want to try to uncover everywhere guns are going to be available. You know, so uh, military roadblocks, gun shops, army and navy outfitters, stores, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, I've got to focus in here now, guys, all right? So forgive me if I go a little bit quiet, just for a second. should kill it. Maybe not. Okay, I want to keep some bullets. Our town just got a little bit safer. Hello, stranger. My name is Dr. Ursula Hoffman. I was hoping you'd be willing to discuss collaboration on a project of mine. We're a little short-handed and could use all the help we can get. So, as much as I would love to do the Cleo mission, even if it's just to get the uh, Haven device or, you know, a future community, I think I've already got two legacy members I've definitely got one, and I think I've got two with who already have access. Uh, you know, they already have that. So, oh, what am I trying to do here? So this fires forty fives, doesn't it? All right. Very very cool indeed, and it's also semi versus auto. What do you call that? It's got different fire modes? Doesn't have a name, does it? Does it? Probably does. I know automatic obviously means it's automatic. Semi-auto means it's, it fires as fast as you pull the trigger. Single fire only, I guess. Single shot? I don't know what that would be called. I guess you have... The way, the way to say that would be this gun has switchable fire modes. Maybe it doesn't have a, uh, a name. Okay, alright, well... How many play cards have we got left? Because, honestly, I think we've... Well, we've got three. Okay, well, we can take out one more... Before... I want to spend a little bit of time thinking... Which is a very dangerous thing to do in the modern age, by the way. Thinking. But yes, I want to take a moment to think about... Exactly... You know, whether I want to spend some time... Over the next few episodes... Scouting the map. Speaking of locations with guns... So the thing about Green Zone is, as I'm sure you all know, Green Zone has the best chance to find weapons, good weapons. This is quite a load I'm carrying. So you know, that's why we're potentially thinking of making a bit more use of Green Zone. Okay, creepers are coming now. We 
game is still a little bit stuttery. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely taking that. And one more. Nothing. Okay, so there's a couple guns there, but nothing too exceptional. Just curious to see what another step down in the uh, graphics department does for us. Sorry, I'm pressing keys all over the place here. Now, we've got a gun shop here, so... Let's go and get a uh, an outpost nearby. Yeah, so honestly, I think you get to the point where essentially any problems you're having with uh, stuttering or frame rate is it's due to the amount of zombies that are spawning in as opposed to the graphics quality because that doesn't seem to have made any difference. Obviously, we're in a very densely populated area, too, with lots of lootable containers, etc., etc. So, I will put the uh, graphics back up in a second. Better take care of it for good. down I have to rest okay 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 all right so yeah all right this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna claim this outpost we actually find something good in here uh, which do we do that upstairs no sign of creepers here Let's get this claimed, just okay. so that the we can drop off. Where am I going? With some extra elbow grease, this place might really shine. Uh, we can drop off excessive things. Now, I think I might have done this off camera quickly last time. I upgraded a, uh, I upgraded our workshop to a level two, just so that we can make molotovs. Because I think on green zone they cost a lot less than they normally do. So you know. That's one thing we should definitely At least it's not nothing. make uh, the sure most of good use. here on Green Zone while we're here. Is, uh, you know, kind of not, not totally maximizing. I'm not going to min-max this situation. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good find. Along with the band-aids. Also, that's a pretty decent weapon to have. Especially later on. So... You know, we will do our best no room for that. to craft a good amount of supplies. Like I said, I'm not going to go overboard. Better luck next time. Okay. I've searched through everything here. All right. So we'll drop this stuff off, and then we'll go and get our um, stuff out of the car. Okay, we'll leave those in there. And I tell you what, just drop these off for now. Maybe I should think twice about asking you for help again. Blah blah blah, really, honestly. We're gonna regret that when we need their help. I feel like some of the uh some of the mission timers have been reduced because didn't we just do a mission for those people at the start of the last episode? Hmm, maybe. I'm not completely sure about that, but pretty sure we did. Okay, I think I can leave those few items there. Meanwhile, let's say hello to our latest victim. Or our latest future victim. Which, if you think about it, I think I just wandered into plague territory. Is a bit of an oxymoron, isn't it? 
So some of the buildings on Green Zone are still pre-looted, unless I looted them previously, but I don't think I did. So we got another Feral. Well, hello, Mr. Feral. It's nice to see you. Okay, I missed him. Come on, then. Say hello. Well, this place is just awful. Where are you? Here you are. Yeah, that was a mistake coming in there at this particular time. Mac 10. This is quite a load I'm carrying. I don't mind those weapons, you know. I think they're uh, I think they're quite cool. Just because they're extremely light, obviously they are also a, uh, a sidearm, which is automatic. And does it f change? It does. Single fire and automatic and and burst fire. And at the same time, it just absolutely shreds. So, Looks clear. what else have we got going on in here while we're here? Some parts. We'll always take the parts. Uh, yeah, so little update on the last episode. I, uh, I'm uploading it as we speak, and I have not yet learned whether or not uh, there's a copyright issue with the music. Once I learn, which is after it has uploaded, then, you know, if it's okay, I'll bring the music back for the series. So that, in my opinion, would be great news. Let's go get those meds. Where were they? Where were they? Somewhere over here. No. It looks like this place is cleared out. Okay, I've lost the meds. If they're not here, then I suppose we'll just leave them. That's pretty heavy. Okay, they had to be there, didn't they? That was the last place I hadn't looked. All right, so. Two left. Cleo's mission. So we need to actually upgrade our... Oh, we do. We've already upgraded this. I think we did that in the first episode. Honestly, at this point, it's not even really worth upgrading anything anymore. When we defeat that final play cart, we have uh, that episode to finish doing what we're doing. And then we have to move. So... You know, at the end of the day, let's say we kill the plague heart right at the end of an hour. We'll give ourselves another 15, 20 minutes or something to finish up. Just in case there's any other areas we want to loot. But right now, yeah, I think I'm pretty set on getting Green Zone finished in this episode. Standard Zone, I will most likely sit back and take a little bit more time but i think i think getting through green zone you know it's not a, it's not going to make too much difference to us if we want to take our time with standard we've got loads and loads of room there is it seven to ten play carts or seven play carts or something on standard zone which translates to a massive amount of time Uh, 
How's our influence looking? 1600. So I'm just thinking with regards to influence, it might be nice to cultivate a bigger amount of influence to move map with. Just so that when we do move map, we, uh, you know, we can get a good base. And no doubt before we leave, I will uh, definitely recruit probably a couple more members, community members. So we've got a medical tent nearby. Yep, so this Warlord Armory mission wants us to move base anyway. Tuesday, the spare parts dealer. Oh, yeah, we went to them. Just noticed the wandering trader mission is still active. So we are getting a little bit low on fuel, but, you know, it shouldn't, shouldn't really be something we have to actually worry about in green zone. However, uh, and by that I mean we shouldn't really run out of fuel because you don't use basically hardly any fuel. Stay back from the cloud. Ooh, wrong gun. So you don't use hardly any fuel and if we had to you if we had to find some fuel well it's basically everywhere in all directions at all times on green zone isn't it now things are looking a little bit busier here i must admit too dangerous right there I reckon if I'd have uh, thrown that pipe bomb fully I probably would be dead right now okay so let's keep the pipe bomb we'll just go in with the melee one more it feels so good to reclaim some territory like this I notice Every Plague Harp uh, kill comes with a very, very full sigh of relief. Now, that's something to be aware of, ladies and gentlemen, because, as I've mentioned before, this this is a very bloody stressful experience. So, you know, when, you're, when you see that happening inside your body, you know you're putting yourself under stress. You're, you might like it. You might enjoy it. You might think it's fun. Maybe someone would want this. No room for that. But your body is feeling that stress. Every time you do it, it's crushing slowly, a little bit more under the pressure, right? And as you get older, some of you all know this, as you get older, your body can handle less and less and less of that pressure, especially if you have uh, subjected yourself to a rather excessive amount of stress in your life or 
you know, you've been subject to a kind of, uh, let's just say, let's just say maybe you suffer from a little bit of PTSD or something like that because of some things that happened to you or some things you experienced. So, I'm just letting you know that that's, uh, you know, this is what I'm doing here. I'm aware of it. I know it's happening. I can feel it in my bones. So, yeah, I've seen that every single time we uh, kill a Blake Art. Because that pressure is massive and we're on green zone. You know what I mean? So, this series will be taking place, I think, once a week. One day a week. I'm calling it State of Decay Tuesday. Get it? So, that's Tuesday for me. For most of you, it's Monday. State of Decay Monday. Okay, we're going the wrong way. However, yes, yeah, so once a week I'll jump in for two to three to four episodes. I'm guaranteeing two because I know I can do two episodes a day, no problem. And if I feel like it, I'll do more. So yeah, buckle your seatbelts for a very long series. This one will probably be somewhere in the region of about 20 to 30 episodes I would say and I'm just kind of wandering around in circles here not paying attention to where I'm going that happens a lot in life am I yes I was going to say I am going the right way this time aren't I Thankfully, yes, and we have one more Blake Heart to go, and then we will be able to leave the map and evolve ourselves towards a decent standard in life, if you know what I'm saying. Hiya! Missed. Alrighty. We are absolutely keeping hold of this car. Ultimately, I think I'm very happy to uh, move on. I'm still a little bit tempted to go and loot some weapons locations. So I'll tell you what, we'll do that. Once we, uh, we'll fix up the car, drop off the gear. Or rather, drop off the gear. Then fix up the car. And from there, we will... Hello to all the citizens of Trumbull Valley. Head out. This is Lily Ritter with the network. I'm reaching out because I'm worried about my friend Ray Santos. What are you up to, Lily? He hasn't been answering his radio, and I'm getting a little worried. I'm sure it's nothing, but I'd appreciate it if someone could check and make sure everything is okay. Now, our storage should have been upgraded. It has, so we now have an extra capacity when it comes to things. So... Oh, feels good to get everything home. Let's uh, take one of those ammos back. That's almost as much as I can carry. Ah, here's a little trick too. So right at the end of this uh, series, before we move map, we're going to deposit all of these in the base because they have the maximum amount in them. You know, green zone like you saw there. We just withdrew nine ammo in that rucksack so depositing depositing it puts that back in on standard zone that'll be less so i learned this from my other series if we take them out here and then deposit them in the next world we actually lose out on ammo so got any more 45s for me we do we have a few let's go and finish off this other play cart will i keep the same character she's got plague but not much She's got a positive outlook. Personal strength, good entertainment, plus four morale, plus five max stamina. Okay, she hasn't 
maybe I can't remember who was our original. Nice job, guys. Yeah, it was her. Metalwork or construction? Hmm. Make parts for materials. Heavy duty storage. Make materials from parts. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm just going to do it without thinking about it too much. Uh, not going to go with acrobatics, obviously. Marathon it is. Okay, let's take out Terry. She can... She can uh, organize Hi our there. final heart. Oh, she doesn't have a backpack. So we have an abundance of backpacks now, so we don't need to Hi there. concern ourselves with that. She can keep that. She, Wait. Hi there. You can have this gun, lady. You deserve it. Oh, I want your ammo. And your suppressor all right so what gun are we gonna have how about we have something meatier like this so this is her gun this is her rifle i'm trying to think of what this what the you know that movie what am i doing here i'm on the wrong thing Full metal jacket. This is my rifle. There's no other rifle like this. I love my rifle. You know what I mean? Something like that anyway. Let us together. You and I. Embrace the change, ladies and gentlemen. We will be now killing the final heart all right we've got everything we need i got some molotovs yeah that'll do just having a quick look here this is just full of supplies i hope nothing heard that hmm so sometimes when you run into an object your character automatically vaults over it Sometimes they don't. Interesting. All right, let's get a little bit more fuel in this car as well as... Get it a little bit fixed up. We're not going to upgrade it because that will remove the, uh, the function, the scanning radar function, unfortunately. I remember learning that the hard way. I was a little bit upset about that when, uh, when I first did it. But then... That misery was replaced by the uh, the happiness of having, well, an upgraded little car that doesn't use a lot of fuel. Okay. The Harkoners. Let's go kick this final Plague Hearts butt and we will be moving to Standard Zone. So when it comes to the next map, uh, we ask Google to choose at random the map for us is this the way that's dead ended no it isn't so obviously we can't go on Trumbull Valley because that's the map we're on now we can never go on the same map that we've already been on in the challenge so we can only go on each map once throughout the challenge and we will choose our own base though We'll choose what base, as long as we've got enough influence, obviously. Kind of goes without saying, doesn't it, really? We have to have enough influence and people to get in the base. So what we'll do here is... We will kill this last Plague Heart. And then... Wow, the place gets very frame ratey, doesn't it? Then we will be assessing what enclaves are around that we can potentially recruit from before we leave. It's hard to believe we're just one step away from wiping out blood plague in our town. Failure in this experiment. 
experiment has been done. Very well. Isabella, let's reset and try again. This is it, the last one. Bye, bye. That's right, we did it. No more blood plague in our town. Worse? Okay, very nice, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty heavy. The blood plague is clear for green zone. That gives us about twenty minutes to finalize here our experience on green zone. And it just so happened this isn't going to open. that the last heart was in a gun shop with not too many resources, but some. So, you know, let's have a little look. I think we've got one more over here somewhere. I'm done checking this place out. Mm, I can use it for parts, I suppose. All right, now, while we're here, we definitely do not need to be concerned at all with, uh, what do you call it, supplies. It's just one of those things we don't need to be bothered about. Now, enclaves, do we have one? We've got one nearby, so I guess we just recruit from them. I don't think I'm too fussed about uh, paying 1,500 influence. We've got four members. We'll get another one now, five. So that secures us the ability to get in one of the more decent bases. Obviously not one of the top quality ones, but we don't have enough influence for that anyway. By the end of Standard Zone, though, we should have enough people and influence to move into one of the one of the top tier bases maybe not the top tier but highest higher tiers you know what i'm trying to say is it eight how many people do you need six to move into no i think it's eight isn't it to move into the best base on a map is eight people So that might be uh, a dread, a dread zone kind of deal. So let's go down here and have a look at this weapons location. And then we'll call into the Allied Enclave, see what they've got for sale. And that'll probably do us then. I think we'll head off. Really cool that we found this survey car. That is definitely going to help us out. You know, it's just going to make... Um... Ah, is this... This is Jurassic Junction, isn't it? Yeah, so that's why it's not coming up on the... Scanner.
Now, one of the things I've been wanting to uh, play around with, and I'm going to do this once. This is very risky. Not that. That. See that, that dodge back? In most circumstances, that will be fine to do it. But every now and then, and I've seen this, this has happened to me at least once, and I've seen it happen a couple of times to other State of Decay 2 players. You know, if you've got zombies uh, attacking you, and you're, you're focused like this, and you press that dodge key, and you've got something behind you, your character will not dodge. They will hit the object, and that zombie will grab you and bite you. And so... In this uh, this challenge, that's just it's just unacceptable, really. You can't take that risk, and so I found it more beneficial to uh, to just focus on that dodge. Okay, even if it means you've got to be a bit more onto your camera work, it's just too risky. Most times, you'll get away with it. But sometimes you don't. And in this challenge, when you don't get away with it, you're dead. So. But it's a shame, you know, because it's one thing I want to start to incorporate more into my combat skill. However, in this series, it's just too risky. Okay, because this enclave's just next door to us, isn't it? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first phase of five phases clear. And don't get me wrong, um... It doesn't mean anything. It means nothing. You're nowhere in this series and until nothing. until you hit nightmare, because it's just it's easy. It's easy until nightmare, and that's just the truth of it. All right, that's fine. Okay, let's go see this enclave. Get this over and done with. Wow, driving's going great today, isn't it? Why does this feel like forever? Is it because I think I've finished and I'm trying to move on to the next thing? I have a little impatient voice inside me that always wants to hurry the hell up, you know? It's always wanting to get there, somewhere. And not only that, it's not one. There's like four of them in there. They all, they all work against me. They all gang up on me, you know? Trying to make me hurry up when I'm just here. Trying to relax in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. Okay. Now, who did we 
Who did we meet before that we liked the look of? It wasn't anyone from this community, was it? Hey, you. It was a chemist from the other community. Hey, you're not dead. Ah, bugger. Now, did they have a mission? No. They did have a mission for us before, but we abandoned it, didn't we? Where were they, anyway? Oh, I'm not going all the way up there. It's miles away. Whatever. Okay, who are we taking, then? A gardener? Hey, you. No, I'm not doing TV trivia. I've got enough actors and people in my house all at once. Okay, it looks like it's you. Hey, you. What's up? Gardeners aren't totally useless. They're just not super we do some business? useful okay. in this so. series. But, you know, let's think of maybe potential uh, future... Honestly. Accomplished. Future use of this person. Give me a coffee. I'm feeling a bit tired. I could use a coffee myself. Hi. Okay, Teofila. Tifila? 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 I'm just going to call you Tiffany. We'd let you join our group, you know. Tiffany. You want to switch teams? Come say hello to our uh, our enclave. Talk also, can you carry some things? My back is killing me. Danger now. To allow danger now. Okay, well that actually is a bit dangerous because we have a Zombies, very intelligent us. enemy, uh, friendly NPC with us. Uh. Who won't do anything stupid. See? Okay. This time, Tiffany, how about we do this slowly? A little bit more slowly. Whoa! It's so good. Time all right, so we got we got our nice gun. Hey, Tiffany. With all my this is how much I love you. All right, you're allowed to have that. I was lost, like every single time, but it was worth it just to be with them. Oh, another one. Operators M4. Very, very lovely. It's the same gun, but with a much higher capacity and a pro. Suppressor. Oh, very, very cool. What a nice send off from the green zone. Whoa, what are you, what are you? Don't be making noises like. Oh, she's actually fighting someone. Whoa, good job, Tiffany. Whoa, look at this gun. That's a meaty gun, isn't it? Alright, let's get everyone back to base, and then we will be leaving. Now, I always get a little bit paranoid about taking a car that we want to the exit, because, well, I know for a fact, 100% absolute, unadulterated, unarguable, Hang in there, okay. ineffable, fact that sometimes I have left the map or I have completed the legacy zone and moved map and my car didn't come with me I'm back. now I'm a bit confused as to whether or not that took place at the end of a legacy you folks mind helping us out? or whether it was just a map transition so I'm going to leave both of these cars here parked, fully parked, on the uh, the correct destination specifically, perfectly aligned, and we're going to have to make our way on foot, either and or, we'll take this, or this, what could I use more of, I've got, got a big old beefcake. I've got a little old cheesecake and I suppose having what would be in the middle. Yo, you hear me? I got an offer here for you. Fries? I don't know. Something. I've got a stranger at the door. Let's take that. What Yo, do you want? Here. Homie? Imagine what we could do if this place had I bet your crew Welcome home, right? Why not? Cool. So when's chow time? 
Let's give him a gun of some substance like this. Uh, just take it for now. We can always nice to see you're still kicking. reorganize him later. Everybody tooled up? Okay. Did I get what I needed? I need some sort of stamina reprieve. Pretty cool that we got these, you know. It's kind of... Is it... Oh, it's, I guess... Is it cheating? I don't know. I'm out. I'm undecided. I didn't make a Plague Heart Cure. Uh, I didn't make it. The game gave it to me. Honestly, it's a gift, surely, right? So, we're going to go and get this. It might take me a moment, but uh, I implore you. Don't leave, because... At any moment, shit hits the fan. And we all know that. Everyone who plays this game knows that the game doesn't want you to win. And so it regularly... Can't keep fighting. Sends 400 juggernauts, 2,000 bloaters, 89.4 screamers, and, uh, you know, one or two triple feral packs. Who attempt to excommunicate you from the game world. And so, it looks like we've managed to scrape on by. However, let's head to the game, uh, the, the map exit. And then we will move to a different map. I don't know where we're going to go yet. We'll have to ask Google. <clears throat> so we're on Trumbull Valley. We've got to keep note. I know I can always check in on the series as we go, but I'll tend to probably forget where I've been. Now, is it straight ahead? Get out of the car. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see what happened then? Somebody's just been bitten, guys. And it better not be me. That was weird as hell. Oh, there's a character there. Who the hell's that? Who's this person? Anyway, I can't actually get to them by uh, walking over to the map. What's this one? You're going to come say hello or what? That was so weird. Who is that person? I hope that wasn't one of our characters that somehow uh, like followed us and spawned over here. Was it? So I don't know. Something weird's going on there. Who are you, strange person? Okay. Did anything hear me? I think we're clear. Who is this person? That's my inventory. That's pretty heavy. Doesn't tell me the name of the person, does it? Well, it wasn't one of ours. We've only got two. Two women. So we've got five people. Was it five? Yeah, it was five that we had, wasn't it? Okay. I'm already, uh confused but whatever as long as it wasn't one of ours i mean at the end of the day if it was well it's done now so let's read this to make up for it dad i wish you could be coming with us i'm sorry i wasn't there with you at the end and this isn't as good as a proper burial but it'll have to do i don't know if i'll ever come back to the valley but if i do i'll be sure to visit you here i love you dad and i hope you're at peace uh, was it her toy toy watch toy watch Toy watch. Well, toy watch. I guess that's that, right? That's so strange. I'm still a bit... My brain's still trying to figure out what could have just happened then. 
Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a second. Hey, game, quit it. Quit it. This is seriously too heavy. Just in case the stuff doesn't come with us. Stop it. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this has confirmed the uh, the completion of phase one. We now move all of the things, the sliders, up to standard, which, you know, increases zombies. Uh, obviously, infestations, play cards are a little bit tougher. Combat's a little bit more difficult. Community is more difficult to manage. Everybody knows this stuff, don't they? We still... I was just thinking, I probably, okay, if I wanted to min-max, I would have taken all of the gear out of the base and put it in the cars, but anyway, we've got loads and loads of supplies, it's not like supplies are going to have to be an issue, I really don't need to think like that for this challenge. Let's accept this, and now let us choose between 1 is Providence Ridge, 2 is Cascade Hills, 3 is Mega Valley, and 4 is Drucker County. Okay, I actually don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can see it there. Look, two. Once upon a time, I did that, and uh, it didn't actually display on the camera. However, it's worked this time. So, one, two, we are headed to Cascade Hills. I have another community on this map, but we have not been here yet. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we've still got to pick our map, don't we? All right, so we can access four bases, just not this one. It is eight, eight community members for the top tier base all right so where are we going we're not going to go to the base level base obviously and i figure we choose one of the higher tier bases lock and keo two large outdoor oh, it's got to be this one right however elaborate storage beds secret distillery we're not going to be worried about making anything even remotely like sellables Huge fuel storage, backup generator machine. It's it's just, I'm sold more and more distributing all the way. So let's just see what cars come with us. Remember, we were driving a Miragra. We had a four by four. What is it? The Rangers truck, and we do actually have three vehicles at our base. So that is one. Double check. We are on the right difficulty. Standard across the board. Now, remember... Um, oh, yeah, okay, so we, we've brought all of our supplies with us. Most of those supplies will probably end up staying in the cars until we need them. Straight away to set ourselves up. We've got a machine shop. Let's get an infirmary built. Let's get our storage upgraded right away because we're guaranteed to be over some of these here. Loads and loads of fuel, which is good because we have a backup ge uh, a generator active. So, all right, that's going to do us for now. Just to secure our storage, we've got more than enough beds to keep us happy. We don't need to do anything about these. We could upgrade them, but honestly, until we get more community members, I'm not going to fuss too much about it. Everyone's very happy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the beginning of, or it's not, it's it's the continuation of, rather, our very, very cool community happening here. So I look forward to continuing on with this challenge. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good all round about it. But honestly, it's, it's all a lie. It's all an illusion until you get to Nightmare Zone. You just have absolutely no idea what you're in store for because the spawns go insanely through the roof, as I've said a lot of times already. So we're, we're kind of, what do you call it? You know, when you're in a swimming pool and you're just treading water, we're treading water, not even. At the moment, we're flopping around back and forth like we're having a ball. You know, it's, it's just wonderful and lovely. Dread zone, I guess we start treading water a little bit, but nightmares are we're drowning. We're just drowning from that moment on. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please do remember there are lots of things for you in the description. I put them there just for you, specifically for you to look at. So go and have a look at them. 
I implore you. I don't know. I'm still learning how to do an outro to a video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope you're so far enjoying the content, enjoying the series. And, uh, you know, you, you know that you've got a lot more of this to come. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Please do consider checking in later. Maybe there's another episode today. Maybe there isn't. If there isn't one today, then potentially there could be another episode on the weekend. It depends whether or not I have been able to resist the urge, the temptation to jump back into this game, which I get often. And uh, it's actually been pretty hard to play other games and put this down completely for the last couple of weeks. But I managed to do it. We are back, though. We are back in action. And yeah, if I feel like playing more of it, there will be another episode or two on the weekend. So do check in for that. Otherwise, if you're just here for this, the juicy State of Decay 2 content, then check back next week for more videos. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again very soon. Goodbye for now.